G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and today I'm going to be attempting to create an epic artwork with the most epic of tools. This thing is a feat of human engineering and a testament to the imagination and ambition of our species. So I don't know about you, but when I was in high school, I used to always have one of these bad boys on me because why carry four pens when you can carry one pen? <laughs> Now, if that wasn't epic enough, I'm going to be creating an artwork inside a Kmart Stay Cool art book. I literally got both of these things in the children's section. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to use each of these colors to create my piece, and I don't want to intertwine them so much. I actually want to use the colors individually in sort of four corners of the piece to represent something different. And I'm feeling something elemental because I've got the blue, the red, the green, and the black, and I'm feeling like there's a uh, earth green. Get it? Because like nature, fire, which is red, and then blue can be like water, and black can be death or wind. I'm going to go with wind. Earth, wind, water, fire. I feel like death would be the odd one out. Let's go with wind. And this piece is going to be quite time consuming to pull off, but that's okay because this video is sponsored by Audible. And that is frankly how I get through really long and time consuming projects. The amount of audiobooks I've listened to when working on larger scale art pieces and animations, it's not even funny. I'm obsessed with audiobooks. In fact, when I painted this mural behind me, which took me about a month's full time work, I got through five of the Wheel of Time books. I kind of gave up after that because there was too many. So if you're a creative and like me, you like to immerse yourself in your creation process, I highly recommend Audible. If you haven't checked it out, go to audible.com slash jazza. That's audible.com slash J-A-Z-Z-A. -Z -Z -A, and you can get started today with a free audiobook 30 day trial. My recommendations to you are going to be pretty broad because I like to listen to lots of different things. I go through different phases, I think. When I was listening to entrepreneurial ebooks, I really enjoyed listening to Gary Vaynerchuk. He narrated writes his own books and he's got a really cool energy. If you're into epic fantasy stories, I highly recommend checking out The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson or his Mistborn series. I also recently got through Ready Player One, which is a really fun VR based sci-fi dystopian novel. So go check that out. I'll put all my recommendations in the description. The most recent audiobook I listened to is actually Trump Revealed. I guess if I had to explain myself, it would be Better the devil you know. I'm not even kidding, I just listened to an audiobook on Donald Trump. <laughs> anyway, point is, I'm really glad Audible is sponsoring this video. I am a huge fan and I've been a paying member of Audible for years now. It's really awesome, you can build your own library and if you cancel your membership at any time or even after your 30 day trial, you get to keep the books that you get on Audible. And of course, if you don't like your book, you can exchange it or swap it for any book at any time. So what are you waiting for? Go click the link in the description and go to audible.com slash jazza, that's slash jazza. A-A-Z-Z-A -Z -Z -A, and get your first free audiobook on a 30-day trial. And without further ado, let's jump into the epic piece we're going to create with this epic device. Device? Pen. Tool? Contraption. Monstrosity. I don't know why I'm making such a big deal out of this pen. It brings back fond memories of being bullied in high school. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. I start off by very lightly sketching each of the different elemental characters in the colour that will most prominently be used for them. As I mentioned earlier, I work with the green for the earth elemental, the blue for the water elemental, the red for the fire, and the black for the wind. The poses are all very rough and without too much detail because I plan on coming back later to add some really strong elements of detail and some really solid silhouette. As I go into the characters one at a time, I add the features and details that I think really accentuate the element that they represent. I try and do the same thing with the facial and body features of each character as well. So for example, the earth elemental is a wizened old man, almost like a hermit in the forest, a sort of Radagast type character, covered with living vines that reach out and do his bidding. With the nature elemental, I went with a fairly naturalistic look, and with the water elemental, I went with a more of a cross-shaded and solid coloured in aesthetic, particularly when I got to the water itself, which I wanted to have a really strong, solid blue aesthetic. The 
The costumes of each character I kept relatively minimal because I wanted the focus to be on their facial and body features and the element that is surrounding them and that is being conjured by them. Fire elemental character is the more obvious example as to where I used a different and contrasting art style working with really sharp edges and shading. I wanted a really chaotic look so I wasn't afraid to be a little bit messy here and add some really strong and contrasting lines both for the shading of the fire around the character and for the shading of his skin and his figure. Last but not least we have the wind elemental which is a little bit tricky because black isn't quite the colour people think of when they think of wind but it was the colour I had to use. Now with the other characters they had colours that complemented their various powers and elements and aesthetics. With wind I wanted to make it more obvious by the way that her ribbon like garb flowed around her and that her hair and clothing flowed in the wind. I did of course however use the black to very lightly create wispy lines that represent the wind and then once I had all of the characters core details in a place that I was really happy with I went back to all the characters and used the black pen to really solidify some of the deeper parts of the characters both in their shading and where the silhouettes needed reinforcement to really accentuate their different outlines and poses and also just make sure that they all stood out individually from one another and didn't get too lost in a bit of a mesh or flatness. And once those finishing touches on the illustration are done, there's only one thing left to do, an epic final shot. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that is the finished result of the piece that I created using my four color ballpoint pen, my combo pen. These things are legendary and I'm hoping that the piece I created feels just as legendary as the pen is. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe if you're new to Draw With Jazza, where I like to do art challenges like this all the time, as well as animation and tutorials from time to time. We do competitions and loads of awesome community stuff. So thank you so much for watching. And of course, one more time, a huge thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check out the link in the description and my recommendations are listed there too. That's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. And until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there. And you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.